Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the Copacus 2DX Flappy Bird C++ tutorial series and in this part we're going to be looking at implementing the splash scene which we created in the previous part of the series and we'll also be carrying on from that part of the so if you haven't done it there'll be a link in the description to the source code. So this tutorial will cover implementing the splash scene. It is going to be very simple but will serve as a good foundation if you want to make it more complex. On iOS you can, you can provide images which by default are set as the splash scene we will be providing these images but they will be empty this is to pass the certification process when you publish an app on Apple's App Store we will use a scene that will show a splash image that can also be used to animate the splash screen or even preload assets for your game let's just quickly show you the moment the empty image that we're talking about these are right here and you, you can just easily create them yourselves and there's just do the regular naming convention and just, just do a blank image even in Photoshop or GIMP or even Paint or wherever and just get the right size. But before we actually do any of this, the splash screen that is, we are going to create a definition header file that will allow us to remove magic numbers and use hash defines which can be easily changed. So what we're going to do is go to our classes, so duplicate any of the header files, we don't need our implementation. I'm going to rename it to definition. This is definition. The oil missing there. And now we can just open this up, add the definition file, add it to both the targets. And now in the definition file, what we're going to do is literally remove everything in between the preprocessor calls and just rename this to definitions and as we do this tutorial series in general you'll understand and you'll appreciate more the usefulness of a definition file or something similar obviously you may want to use variables you may want to use something else but the nature will still remain the same so in the so in here what we're going to do, actually, we'll leave this for now uh, and we'll add the files or the data then when we need it. So, in the header file of the splash scene, we will declare a go to main menu function that will be called after a specified amount of time because splash scene is only, uh, only remains for a while, usually a few seconds. So, I'm going to do private colon void go to main menu. Here. and it's going to take the parameter of float tt which is delta time we're not going to be using delta time it's just so we can schedule the function using cocos 2 dxs built-in scheduling feature then you want to go to the cpp and in this splash scene implementation file we will include the main menu scene header and the definitions header so up here we're going to do hash include main menu scene hash include definition scene so, sorry about that and what we're going to do now we're going to schedule the go to main menu function to run after a set period of time so what we'll do is go here and we'll do this schedule we only want to schedule it once then in here we're going to put schedule underscore we'll select uh, and in here we'll specify what we want to schedule so it'll be splashed scene colon colon go to main menu scene we won't pass anything in and in here we want to specify a time this is great this is where the definition file comes into its own we're just going to put display underscore time underscore splash underscore scene this doesn't mean anything at the moment because we haven't created a definition but we're going to create it with this name I know I'm going to use this name but you may want to use something else so we're just going to go to our definition file, file do hash define copy and paste this and then after this we're going to specify a number I'm just going to put 2 and we're going to do another hash define transition underscore time 0 0.5 and this will be used every time we want to transition from a scene and the great thing about this is if we just want to maybe change it to 0 0.25 seconds or maybe 4 seconds we just change in this one place and it propagates throughout the entire code where it has been used 
So I think you might be I think you might see the benefit of definitions a little more now. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to implement the go to main menu function. So right down here. I'm gonna do void slash theme colon colon go to go to main menu theme float dt and in here we're just going to do auto scene equals main menu scene colon colon create I mean create scene not create and then we're going to do director colon colon get instance we're going to do replace scene and for here we're also going to do transition fade colon colon create and in here we'll specify the transition time so transition underscore time and now we'll specify the scene which is scene and we don't want this color value this is a different transition function which allows you to specify a color when you actually Form the transition, so it's got an extra comma there. And now the last step is to actually create the background sprite itself. So in here, we're going to do auto sprite, and now we're going to name it background sprite, and we'll make this equal to sprite colon colon create. And in here, we're going to specify this splash screen up in this. So, splash screen up in Then we're going to do background sprite. Check position. Point. We're going to do visible size dot width divided by two plus origin dot x. And we're going to do visible for y. I'm going to do visible size dot height divided by 2 plus origin dot y. Finally, we can just add the background sprite as a child to the layer. I'm going to do background sprite. And now, if we just run this, it should hopefully successfully build, show the splash screen with our splash screen image, and then fade away after a couple of seconds and the transition time should be half a second. There you go, we have implemented a splash scene. It goes to the main menu scene, there's nothing there at the moment because in the next part of this series, we're gonna be implementing the main menu scene. You can feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.